Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Atta Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Saganaraganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Vitam Shya Om Ajnana Timuranda Shya Gyana Jana Shilakya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shri Guravena Ma Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sisha Sambushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Abhidam Ujjwalam Varatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Vande Vishwagurun Shah Divyat Bhagavat Prem No Ibijapradam Devam Divyatanam Suchandavaranam Balarka Chelanchitam Sandrananda Puram Sadekavaranam Vairagya Vidyam Budim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Banditam Shubhadam Madeka Sharanam Nyashishvara Sridharam Vansha Kopatarubhyas Chakripa Sindhubhyevacha Putita nam paveni bio vaishna baby on a monoma. Namo mahabaranya Krishna prema brunayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya namane gora tavishe nama. So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Prabhupada. This is the Madhya Lila chapter 24. Explanations of the Atmarama verse. Text 105. Agejata jata arta bhyakyana koriba krishna guna svader e hetu janiva. In this way, I shall progressively explain all the words in the Atmarama verse. It should be understood that all these words are meant to enable one to taste the transcendental qualities of Krishna. Shloka bhyakya lagye kori luna vas eve kori shlokera mularta prakash. I've given all these explanations just to give some indication of the verse's meaning. Now let me explain the real meaning of the verse. Jnana marge upashaka dvita prakar kebula brahmo pasaka moksha kangiyar. There are two kinds of worshippers on the path of philosophical speculation or on jnana marg. There are two kinds of worshippers on the path of philosophical speculation. One is called Brahmupasaka, a worshipper of the impersonal Brahman. And the other is called Moksha Kangshi, one who, who desires liberation. Can you please close the door? Kevala Brahmupasaka Teen. So I'll read that again translation again. There are two kinds of worshippers on the path to philosophical speculation. One is called Brahmupasaka, worshipper of the impersonal Brahman, and the other is called Mukshakangshi, one who desires liberation. Kevala Brahmopasaka Teen Bedahoy Sadaka Brahmamoy Araprapta Brahmaloy. There are three types of people who worship the impersonal Brahman. The first is the beginner. The second is one whose thoughts are absorbed in Brahman. And the third is one who is actually merged in the impersonal Brahman. So there are three types of people who worship the impersonal Brahman. The first is the beginner. The second is one whose thoughts are absorbed in Brahman. And the third is one who is actually merged in the impersonal Brahman. Bhakti bina kebula jnane mukti nahi hoi Bhakti sadaka Bhakti sadana kori je prapta brahmaloi One cannot attain liberation simply through Let's see Bhakti One cannot attain liberation simply through gyan or knowledge philosophical speculation devoid of devotional service. 
However, if one renders devotional service, one is automatically on the Brahman platform. One cannot attain liberation simply through philosophical speculation devoid of devotional service. However, if one renders devotional service, one is automatically on the Brahman platform. Bhaktir Swabhava Brahma Hoite Kori Akarshan Divya Deho Diya Korai Krishnera Bhajan. Character, characteristically, one in devotional service is attracted away from the impersonal Brahman platform. He is offered a transcendental body to engage in Lord Krishna's service. Bhakta Deho Paile Hoi Gunera Smaran Guna Krishna Hoya Kori Nirmala Bhajan. When one gets a devotee's spiritual body, one can remember the divine qualities of Krishna. Simply by being attracted to Krishna's qualities, one becomes a pure devotee engaged in his service. Muktapi lila bigraham kridva bhagavantam bhajante Muktapi lila bigraham Kritva Bhagavantam Bhajante <clears throat> Even a liberated soul merged in the impersonal Brahman effulgence is attracted to the pastimes of Krishna. He thus installs a deity and renders the Lord's service. Highly elevated Mayavadi sannyasis sometimes worship the Radha Krishna deities deity and discuss the pastimes of the Lord, but their purpose is not elevation to Goloka Vrindavan. <coughs> they want to merge into the Lord's effulgence. This statement is quoted from Shankaracharya's commentary on the Upanishad, on the Upanishad known as Nishringa Tapani. So, Even a liberated soul merged in the impersonal Brahman effulgence is attracted to the pastimes of Krishna. He thus installs a deity and renders the Lord's service. Janmahoite shuka sanakari brahmamoy Krishna guna krishna hoya krishna reba jai Although Sukadeva Goswami and the four Kumaras were always absorbed in the thought of impersonal Brahman and were, were thus Brahmavadis, they were nonetheless attracted by the pastimes and qualities of Krishna. Therefore, they later became devotees of Krishna. Sanakadyara Krishna Kripa Sorave Hareman Guna Krishna Hoya Kori Nirmala Bhajan. The minds of the four Kumaras were attracted by the aroma of the flowers offered to Krishna's lotus feet. Being thus attracted by the qualities of Krishna, they engaged in pure devotional service. Tasya Ravinda Nayanasya Paravinda Kinjaka Mishra Tulasi Makaranda Vayu Antargataswa Vivarena Chakarajtesham Sankshobyam Akshara Jusham Abhichitanva. When the breeze carrying the aroma of tulsi leaves and saffron from the lotus feet of the lotus-eyed Lord entered through the nostrils into the hearts of those sages, the Kumaras, they experienced a change in both body and mind, even though they were attached to the impersonal Brahman understanding. Vyasa Kripai Sukadevar Liladi Smaran Krishna Guna Krishna Hoya Korana Bhajan. By the mercy of Srila Vyasadeva, Sukadeva Goswami was attracted by the pastimes of, of Lord Krishna. Being thus attracted by Krishna's qualities, he also became a devotee and engaged in his service. Harera Guna Shipta Matir Bhagavan Badarayani. 
अद्यागान महद अज्ञानम नित्यम विष्णु जनाप्रिया Being very much attracted by the transcendental pastimes of the Lord, the mind of Srila Sukadeva Goswami was agitated by Krishna consciousness. He therefore began to study Shrimad Bhagavatam by the grace of his father. Let's see. नवयोगेश्वर जन्म होते सरक ज्ञानी विरीशीव नारद मुके कृष्ण गुण शुनि फ्रॉम देयर वेरी बर्थ द नाइन ग्रेट मिस्टिक योगीज योगेंद्रस और द नव योगेंद्रस वर इन पर्सनल फिलोसोफर्स द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ बट बिकॉज़ दे हर्ड अबाउट कृष्णस क्वालिटीज फ्रॉम लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा Lord Shiva and the great sage Narada they also became Krishna's devotees So the qualities of Krishna is attracting all these self-realized uh, saints like the four kumaras like Sukadeva Goswami and also Uh, like the Navi Yogendras, they're attracted by Krishna's qualities, even though they're absorbed in in realization of the of the Brahman effulgence. They're complete in in their realization, but still they're attracted. Guna Krishna hoya kore Krishna rabajan ekanda skande tara. Bhakti Vibharan. In the eleventh canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam, there is a full description of the devotional service of the nine Yogendras, who rendered devotional service because they were attracted by the Lord's transcendental qualities. Aklesham Kamala Bhuva Pravish Pravishya Goshtim Kurvanta Shruti Shirasam. Shutim shutagya, utungam yadupura, sangamaya rangam, yogendra pulaka brito, navapi avapu. The nine yogendras entered Lord Brahma's association. and heard from him the real meaning of the topmost vedic literatures the upanishads although the yogendras were already conversant in vedic knowledge they became very jubilant in krishna consciousness just by listening to brahma thus they wanted to enter dwarka the boat of lord krishna in this way they finally achieved the place known as rangachetra मोक्ष कांकी ज्ञानी हो तीन प्रकार मुमुक्षु जीवन मुक्त प्राप्त स्वरूपार दोस हु विश टू मर्ज इनटू एन इम्पर्सनल ब्रह्मांड आर आल्सो डिवाइडेड इन द थ्री कैटेगरीज दोस डिजायरिंग टू बी लिबरेटेड दोस ऑलरेडी लिबरेटेड एंड दोस हु हैव रियलाइज्ड ब्रह्मांड मुमुक्षु जगते अनेक संसारी जान मुक्ति लागे भक्ति कोरे कृष्णेरा बजान There are many people within the material world who desire liberation for this purpose they render devotional service to Lord Krishna मुमुक्षवो गोर रूपान हित्वा भूता पतिमता नारायणा कला शांता भजन्ति इ अनुसूयबा People who want to be relieved from the material clutches give up the worship of the various demigods who have fearful bodily features such peace, peaceful devotees who are not envious of the demigods 
worshipped the different forms of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayan. Mm -hmm. Say Shabara Sadhu Sange Guna Sporai Krishna Bhajana Karai Mumukka Chadai. If those who are attached to demigod worship fortunately associate with the devotees, their dormant devotional service and appreciation of the Lord's qualities gradually awaken. In this way, they also engage in Krishna's devotional service and give up the desire for liberation and the desire to merge into the existence of impersonal Brahman. Aho mama, aho mahatman, bahudosha dushtao. Aho mahatman, bahudosha dushto bi, a kenabati esha babu gunena, sat sangama kena, suka vahena, kritadya yo, no yena, krishama muksha. O oh, great learned devotee, although there are many faults in this material world, there is one good opportunity, the association with devotees. Such as association brings about great happiness. Due to, this, to the, due to this good quality, our strong desire to achieve liberation by merging into the Brahman effulgence has become weakened. O oh, great learned devotee, Although there are many faults in this material world, there is one good opportunity, the association with devotees. Such association brings about great happiness. Due to this good quality, our strong desire to achieve liberation by merging into the Brahman effulgence has become weakened. Naradera Sangha Shonakadi Munigan Mumukka Chadiya Koila Krishna Rabhajan. By associating with the great sage Narada, Shonaka and other great sages gave up their desire for liberation and engaged in Krishna's devotional service. Hmm. Narada, Shanaka, and other great sages by associating with Narad Muni. They gave up their desire for liberation and became engaged in devotional service. Krishnara Darshane, Karo, Krishnara Kripai, Mumukha Chadiya Gune, Bhajje Tarabai. Simply by meeting Krishna or receiving Krishna's special favor, one can give up the desire for liberation. Being attracted by the divine qualities of Krishna, one can engage in his service. Asmin Sukhagana Murtoparam Atmani Vishni Bhutane Swarati Atmarama, Atmarama Matayo Mevrita, Gato Bhatta Chitram Kala. In this Dwarkadam, I'm being attracted by, by Krishna, who has personified spiritual bliss. Simply by seeing him, I am feeling great happiness. Oh, I have wanted so much time Oh, pardon me. Oh, I have wasted so much time trying to become self-realized through impersonal cultivation. This is a cause for lamentation. Jivan mukta aneka e dui beta jani bhakti jivan mukta jnani jivan mukta mani. There are many people who are liberated even in this lifetime. Some are liberated by discharging devotional service and others are liberated through the philosophical speculation process.
भक्ति जीवन मुक्त गुण कृष्ण हो कृष्ण बाज शुष्क ज्ञान जीवन मुक्त अपराधे हर मजय Those who are liberated by devotional service become more and more attracted by the qualities of Krishna thus they engage in his service those who are liberated by the speculative process eventually fall down again due to offensive activity yanye ravindaksha vimukta maninas tvayasta bhavan avishuda budaya aruya krishna param param tata Bhatandiyado nadrita yushmadangraya. O lotus eyed one, those who think they are liberated in this life but are without devotional service to you are of impure intelligence. Although they accept severe austerities and penances and rise to the spiritual position to impersonal Brahman or realization, they fall down again because they neglect to worship your lotus feet. So previous in the previous purport or pardon me the previous translation here it says those who are liberated by this speculative process eventually fall down again due to offensive activity and this verse is famous verse yenye 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 rabi rabin daksha vimukta maninas tvayasta bhava davishuda budaya Aruya Krishna Param Param Tata Patantiya Do Nadrita Yushmad Angraya. A lotus eyed one, those who think they are liberated in this life but are without devotional service to you are of impure intelligence. Although they accept severe austerities and penances and rise to the spiritual position to impersonal Brahman realization, they fall down again because they neglect to worship your lotus feet. So and it's also explained in this relationship that the jiva's soul is in an unnatural position in by merging into brahman because he has the quality of the soul is that one has desires whether spiritual desires or material desires but being in that position one's desires eventually awaken and that brings one back to the only plane which one knows where activities are and where one has can one can engage in activities and that's the material plane they don't have any attraction to the real spiritual plane so they come back to this material plane they leave their absorption in brahman effulgence and come back with their Yeah, because of their latent desires, back to this material world. Rama Buddha Prashnat Mana Shochati Na Kangshati Sama Sarveshu Buddha Shu Mad Bhakti Mlabate Param. One who is thus uh, transcendentally situated once realizes the supreme Brahman and becomes fully joyful. He never laments or desires to have anything. He is equally disposed to every living entity. in that state he attains pure devotional service unto me advaita viti patikar upashya shananda svananda simha sana labda diksha satena kenapi vayam hatena dashikrita gopavadu vitena is a famous verse by Bill of Mangal Thakur Although I was worshiped by those on the path of monism and initiated into self-realization through the yoga system I have nonetheless been forcibly turned into a maid servant by some cunning boy who is always joking with the gopis hmm. So Bill of Mangal explains that he was actually sitting on a simhasan and you know in other words he was in a in a w- position where he was being adored uh, worshiped when he is engaged in the in, in personal real in personal realization but he left that position 
because he became forcibly converted by, here it says, I have nonetheless been forcibly turned into a maidservant by some cunning boy who is always joking with the gopis. Bilva Mangal Thakur. Bhakti Boli Prapta Swarup Divya Deho Pai Krishna Guna Krishna Hoya Bhaje Krishna Pai One who has attained the constitutional position one who has con attained his constitutional position by the strength of devotional service attains a transcendental body even in this lifetime. Being attracted by Lord Krishna's qualities, he fully engages in service at his lotus feet. Nirodo shana, nirodo shanu, shayanam, atmana saha. Shakti bi muktir hitvan yatarupam swarupena yavastiti. The living entities and other uh, potencies merge into Mahavishnu as the Lord lies down and winds up, destroys the cosmic manifestation. Liberation means being in, situated in one's eternal, original form after giving up the changeable, gross, and subtle bodies. The living entities and other potencies merge into Mahavishnu as the Lord lies down and winds up, destroys the cosmic manifestation. Liberation means being situated in one's eternal, original form after giving up the changeable, gross, and subtle bodies. Krishna Bahir Mukha Doshe Maya Hoite Vai Krishna Mukha Bhukti Hoite Maya Mukta Hoi By opposing Krishna consciousness, one becomes conditioned and fearful due to the influence of Maya. By executing devotional service faithfully, one is liberated from Maya. And by opposing Krishna consciousness, one becomes conditioned and fearful. So this first explains that it, that follows. Bayam dutiya binivesha tadshad ishada petasya viparya yosmriti tanmaya yato buddha abajetam bhaktyaika yesham guru deva tatma. When the living entity is attracted by the material energy, which is separated from Krishna. He is overpowered by fear because he is separated from the Supreme Personality of God and by the material energy. His conception of life is reversed. In other words, instead of being the eternal servant, he becomes Krishna's competitor. This is called Viparya Yosmriti. To nullify this mistake, one who is actually learned and advanced worships the Supreme Lord as his spiritual master, worshipful deity and source of life. He thus worships the Lord by the process of unalloyed devotional service. So it, here it explains that when one is attracted by the material energy, which is a condition that, uh, of course, a position of the conditioned soul, one is coming from the Tatasta Shakti, the marginal plane, and as we've heard, one can be attracted by light or be attracted to enjoy on the mundane plane. The reason coming for coming to the mundane plane is one has the idea that one can lord it over this plane, whereas in this going towards the spiritual plane, one ha one is in the position of being a servant of the Lord. So those who come here to this material world, they become overpowered by fear. And there is actually an, a role reversal that occurs. That instead of being the eternal servant of the Lord, they become the Lord's competitor. Because that is the nature of false ego in this world, that one becomes like a little Krishna, imagines oneself to be a little Krishna, trying to enjoy this mundane plane. So that's this a very nice verse. Bayam dutiya binivesha tad shadi ishada petasya viparya yosmriti tanmaya yato 
गुर आब जेथाम भक्त्याय का ये शम गुरुदेव तत्मा वन द लिविंग एंटिटी इज अट्रैक्टेड बाय द मटेरियल एनर्जी व्हिच इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम कृष्णा व्हिच इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम कृष्णा ही इज ओवरपावर्ड बाय फियर बिकॉज़ ही इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द लॉर्ड बाय द मटेरियल एनर्जी हिज कंसेप्शन ऑफ लाइफ इज रिवर्स्ड इन अदर वर्ड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ बीइंग द इटर्नल सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्णा ही बिकम्स कृष्णास कंपेटिटर दिस इज कॉल्ड विपर्य यो स्मृति to nullify this mistake when it was actually learned it and advanced worships the supreme lord as his spiritual master worshipful deity and source of life he thus worships the lord by his by the process of unalloyed devotional service mm. दाइवीश गुणमयी मम मय दुरात्य मम एव ये प्रपद्यंते मैं मिथा दुरांति थे दिस डिवाइन एनर्जी ऑफ माइंड कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटेरियल नेचर इज डिफिकल्ट ओवरकम बट दोज हु हैव सरेंडर्ड अन टू मी कैन इजली क्रॉस बियॉन्ड इट एंड दैट्स द रीजन वन कैन क्रॉस ओवर दिस मटेरियल एनर्जी by surrendering it unto the lord is because maya or she is a uh, divi prakriti she's the divine lord's divine energy in other words she's a servant of the lord so when someone surrenders to krishna she releases them that person from her dominion bhakti vinu mukti nahi bhakti mukti hoy one one does not attain liberation without rendering devotional service liberation is attained only by devotional service shreya shitim bhaktim udashya te vibho klishanti ye kevala bada labdaye tesham so klishala eva sishyate nanyad yata stala tushava bhagatina my dear lord in devotional service unto you my dear lord devotional service unto you is the only auspicious path if one gives it up simply for speculative knowledge or the understanding that these living beings are spirits souls and the material world is false one undergoes a great deal of trouble one only gains troublesome and inauspicious activities one's actions are like beating a husk that is already devoid of rice one's labor becomes fruitless so obviously when wheat or rice is thrashed the, the grain is separated from the husk but if one continues or one acquires some some paddy that's already been husked when the grains have been taken out then what what result will one get by thrashing that wheat or beating uh you no know, the grains are already gone so the only thing one may get from that is some some labor or some exercise but no real result yenye ravindaksha vimukta maninast vayast bhavad avishuda budaya aruya krishna param param tata patantiyad ho nadra nadrita yushmadang angraya o lord is i one those who think they are liberated in this life but are without devotional service to you or have been pure intelligence although they accept severe austerities and penances and rise to the spiritual position to impersonal brahman realizations they fall down to impersonal brahman realization they fall down again because they neglect to worship your lotus feet ya esham burusham sakshad atma prabhavam ishvaram na bhajanti अवजानती स्तनद ब्रष्टा पथंदियरा 
If one simply maintains an official position in the four varnas and ashramas, but does not offer the Supreme Lord, does not worship the Supreme Lord, one falls down from one's puffed up position into a hellish condition. If one simply maintains an official position in the four varnas and ashramas, but does not worship the Supreme Lord, one falls down again. One falls down from his puffed up position into a hellish condition. So that's one who's formally worshipped, but it hasn't come to any real realization, will fall down from their position into to, back to the material plane and into a hellish condition. Bhakti Mukti Bhai Leha Avashya Krishna Rebajai. When one is actually liberated by engage by executing devotional service, one always engages in the loving service of the Lord. Mukta Pililaya Vigraham Kritva Bhagavantam Bhajante. When a liberated soul merged in the impersonal Brahman effulgence is attracted by the pastimes of Krishna. When he, even a liberated soul merged in the impersonal Brahman effulgence is attracted by the pastimes of Krishna. He thus attains a deity and renders service to Lord Krishna. What? This is the same verse by, by uh, Shankaracharya from the Nishingatapani. Some of the verses have been repeated. This verse is repeated. Yenye, yenye, Rabindaksha vimukta maninas. That, that verse also is repeated because it's applicable in more than one situation. Echayat marama krishnere bajai pritak pritak chakare iha ap apira artahoi. Pardon me. Echayat marama krishnare bajai pritak pritak chakare iha apira artakoi. There are six kinds of atma. These six kinds of atmaramas engage in the loving service of Krishna. The varieties of service are indicated by adding cha, and they also bear the meaning of api and deed. There are six kinds of atmaramas. The neophyte, student, sadaka, uh, one who is absorbed in Brahman uh, realization, brahmamoy, There are six kinds of Atmaramas, the Neophyte student, Sadaka, one who is absorbed in Brahman realization, Brahmamoy, one who has already attained the Brahman position, Prapta Brahmaloy, one who desires to be liberated, Mamukshu, one who is liberated even in this life, Jnana Mukta, and one who is self-realized, Prapta Svaru. Atmaramas japi kore krishne haituki bhakti munaya shanta iti krishna maname ashakti. The six kinds of atmaramas render devotional service to Krishna without ulterior motives. The word munaya and shanta indicate those who are very much attached to meditating upon Krishna. Nigranda avidya hoya keho vidipho, pardon me, Nigranda avidya heen keho vidipho heen yata je jukta se artera adin, okay. Nigranda vidyahin keho bidihin jahanje yukta se artera din. The word nigranta means without ignorance and devoid of rules and regulations. Whichever meaning fits may be applied. Chashabde okay. korijari itare taras arta ara ek arta ko. Gohe Parama Samarta 
The use of the word cha in different places produces different meanings. Over and, over, over and above them, there is another meaning that is very important. The use of the word cha in different places produces different meanings. Over and above these, there is another meaning that is very important. Atmaramascha mun, atmaramascha, atmaramascha kori hoi, atmaramascha, atmaramascha kori barcha, pancha atmaramer, chanya cha kori lupta hoi. Although the words, although the words atmaramacha would be replete would be repeated six times simply by adding, pardon me, although the words Atmaramacha would be repeated six times simply by adding the word cha, five Atmaramas are deleted. Okay. So that's, it's, this is a grammatical rule. You don't have to say Atmaramas Cha, Atmaramas Cha, Atmaramas Cha, Atmaramas Cha, Atmaramas Cha, Atmaramas Cha, six times. You can eliminate all five of them, all five, five out of the six, and just then you you can note that that there's some relation, but you don't have to. Grammatical rule is you don't have to repeat the same nouns and case endings. It's all covered under. Just by eliminating all and leaving one. Ek atmarama shabda avasesha rohe. Ek atmarama shabda chai jana kohe. Therefore, there is no need to repeat the words, the word atmarama. One, one is sufficient, and that one word indicates six uh, persons. Six persons are indicated by the one word of the Atmaramas. Sarupanam ek sesha ek vibhat so Sarupanam ek seva ek vibhatanu Uttartanam ag aprang aprayoga Vama, Ramas cha, Ramas cha, Ramas cha, Rameti, Ajivad. Okay, Swarupanam ek seshek vibhakto uptartanam apraya, aprayo yo. Pardon me. Swarupanam ek. Sesha ek vibhakto uktartanam aprayoga ramascha 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 rama ita itivat of words having the same form in case termination the last one is the only one retained for example the word rama is used to stand for ramascha 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 etc because it's you don't have to keep repeating the word and the case in it. And it's also, also often eliminated so many extraneous repetitions based on ca grammatical rules and case ending. And we see that as a result, um, the, the result, the, all, these extra, all these words are dropped, you know. There'll be a nice example coming up. Tabe J Chakara Se Samuchaya Koi Atmaramas Cha Muniyas Cha Krishna Rebajai. By the aggregate use of the word cha, it is indicated that all the Atmaramas and saints serve and worship Krishna. Nigranta Pira a api sambhavane, a shatarta ratame korilun jakyane. Api, added to the word negrunt, is used for exposition. The I have, thus I have tried, okay, 
a P added to the word nigranta is used for exposition. Thus, I have tried to clarify seven meanings of the Atmarama verse. Antarjami upasaka atmarama koi se atmarama jogir dui bedo koi pardon me Antarjami upasaka atmarama koi se atmarama jogir dui bedo hoi the yogi who worships the super soul within himself is also called atmarama there are two types of atmarama yogis so I'm going to stop here tomorrow I'll continue How are you? I'm well, Maharaj. Every time they come. Did you speak with Push to Krishna? Okay. He should be here soon. Well, I'm happy I made it for class. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jarabaya Nama Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jarabaya Nama Jarabaya Marabaya Keshavaya Nama Yorabaya Marabaya Keshavaya Nama Gopavavinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Gopavavinda Ram Shri Madhusudan
Jai Saparikara Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Gandharvika Giridani Ju Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Parabhajaka Chari Asta Tata Sada Shri Shri Man Shila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Parabhajaka Chari Asta Tata Sada Shri Shri Man Shila Bhakti Rakak Shridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswain Thakur ki jai jai om Vishnupad Srila Gaur ki jor Das Babaji Maharaj ki jai jai om Vishnupad Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur ki jai jai om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarvabhama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj ki jai jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath Shri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath Shad Goswami Prabhu ki jai Jai Rupanuga Guru Varga ki jai, Srila Haridas Thakur ki jai, Premsi Gaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadan Harshi Vasudhi, Shri Gaurabhakta Vrinda ki jai, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu ki jai, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita ki jai, Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur ki jai, Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat ki jai, Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu ki jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Vishwa Bharanya, Srila Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj Ki Jai. Shri Navadip Dham Ki Jai, Shri Ramayapur Ki Jai, Saparshita Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Saparshita Shri Ma Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Kolodvip Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan, Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju Ki Jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Shri Pad Bhakti Chandan Parvat Maharaj Ki Jai, Gaur Brahmanande Hari Hari Om. Shri Pad Bhakti Chandan Parvat Maharaj Ki Jai.